So your creative power lies in the thoughts that you're cultivating and the feelings that you're inspiring through the thoughts that you're cultivating. And then however you can work with your belief system to open it up and expand it to accept new truths and who you really are is going to be mirrored back to you in what you experience. The deeper truth of you is that you're an individualized expression of all that is. And because you're an individualized expression of all that is, you are everything in existence. And the more that you're cultivating your everythingness nature, and the more that you're choosing to identify yourself from your everythingness nature, the more that that's going to be mirrored back to you in your life and in your world. You are the limited self. You are the you that you've been your whole life. That is an aspect of you. And meanwhile, you're also the everythingness. What's up, man? You're also everything that you've ever wanted to be. We are spirit manifesting through matter. And so the more that you identify with yourself from the spirit that you are that's manifesting through the matter, the more that you're going to reflect the circumstances that are the fulfillment that is the spirit that's, man that's animating the matter. So it's about shifting how you identify with yourself in your world or how you identify yourself in your world. It's about shifting how you see yourself in your world. It's about seeing yourself as the spirit instead of the matter and then choosing to move through your world from the perspective of the spirit and not the matter. The spirit is all things in all places at all times. So the spirit doesn't need the moment to be any different than what it is. And if you're cultivating that perspective, then you're cultivating one of joy and peace and contentment and acceptance. And there is fulfillment in that feeling. There's fulfillment in that awareness and in uh, seeing your world from that perspective. And that perspective is a choice. It, the circumstances in your life don't have to change for you to feel that way. Somebody locked up in jail or in a concentration camp can choose to cultivate this perspective in themselves. And we're all invited to do that right now. I mean, if you're a slave in a cubicle somewhere, how is that much different from being in a jail cell? You know, it's the illusion of freedom and the illusion of choice and like the illusion of not being locked into a machine or a box or a cage or whatever. And you are free to cultivate any feeling you want in that situation. You, you know, you're a free, sovereign individual. You're a spirit animating a body. There's nothing that your job or your government can, that can do or say that can change that, you know? And so the more that you identify with the spirit aspect of you, the easier your life is going to be. And there's freedom there, man. Embrace your freedom. Cultivate the freedom aspect of you. The free aspect of you that is. Like, you're free. You're sovereign. No one can govern you. No one can put you in any boxes that they've created for themselves unless you allow them to. And unfortunately for humanity, we've all allowed ourselves to be put into a box that was given to us by our governments and our religions and our teachers and our parents and everybody around us. And at any moment, we can choose to reject that box, tear down the walls of that box, and live free from the box, be everything that is outside the box, be the box. Liberate the box. And in doing that, you'll be doing your fellow man a great service because you'll be a living example of what it's like to be outside the box. You're not looking at life from a three-dimensional perspective. You're seeing it from the larger perspective. The fact that it's everything in all places at all times. And that's a liberated perspective, man. Liberate your perspective, man. <laughs>